Gordon, how are things ahead of this one? We heard from Dan Fletcher saying that he might have a fitness test tomorrow. Is, it, is that good news or is that is, how, how can you assess uh, that? It would be bad news if he says he wasn't going to have one, um, but good news that he's going to have a fitness test. Um, it was a sore, I actually thought it was a, th a, th a thigh strain at half time. It was actually a, a knock on his thigh and it swole up. Um, but that's good, he's got to take it to the last minute. We'll, 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 we'll prepare for that. We'll prepare a team with Dan in it and a team without Dan. And uh, we'll put the final touches tomorrow. And. Uh, but we're fine, we're good, we'll look forward to it. In terms of the opposition, they've struggled, they haven't won a game yet, they've been chopping and changing formation-wise, how tough has it been to prepare for this one? Well, they've changed dramatically um, since the two, the two games I've seen them um, in the European Championships. Queen's changed quite dramatically, really, so I think I could have wasted my time going there. But I enjoyed the fans, the fans, the Welsh fans in particular, it was good fun. Uh, sharing a plane with them. Um, but I've seen them there, it was basically a 4 3 3, um, two wide men. I thought about that for the last couple of months, and no wide men anymore. So it's changed, it's changed a bit. So, uh, but we're, we're, Stephen Presley was out having a look at them, provided great information. Kenny, the video analysis, put a lot of stuff together on uh, Saturday night, Sunday morning. And we had a look at that last night. So the, the players know that the system's changed a bit. Uh, but we'll have to be on our toes again, it might change again. Do you have to look at performances of the past, like Croatia, like Czech Republic this year in a friendly? Yeah. Is that the sort of away performance that you need to carry a bit of luck as well? Well, um, yeah, we're, we're hoping that luck's not getting involved in it, but it, it seems that most games there is a wee bit of luck involved. Um, but, um, no, they were... Decent performances, definitely Croatia won. Czechoslovakia won would worry me, there was too many chances in that one. Our goalie was terrific, played terrifically well. But there's been some good performances away from home that we liked. Um, but the, the, you know, the, the personnel's changed a wee bit. Um, over the last couple of years, the, those guys have come through, become more integral to the, uh, the system. So we look at what the best players we've got and the best system we play for them to adapt. Usually, you know, it's, Usually we play a system that suits us, but we might have to tip, tip, tinker with it just a wee bit to suit the, the opposition. Given you drop points at home, is it imperative you take something from this one? Um, well, as I said after, it's a strange, strange group. Um, and uh, the stranger it gets, the better for us, because we're in port four. So it gets really strange and we end up at, at two at least, and we'll be delighted with that. Um, but so far, of the two games, three quarters that have been good. Um, Motor game, 90 minutes, apart from a couple of minutes in the game. Was good, professional, liked it. Second half the other day there was was what I wanted, chances, crosses, excitement, we got that. So three quarters have been good. So we have to say that, that three quarters, take it into a full 90 minutes tomorrow. Well, there's got to be changes anyway, um, because we thought it would be a rough and tumble game. The first game, which was a, which it is, which it was. Uh, it was more like a, a championship game, where, especially in the first half of the ball was getting knocked from one end, and the other team was knocking up, and it was fighting, scrapping. And changed a bit in the second half, and died in a bit. So we knew it would be, um, and there'd be a few knocks, so we'd, we did pick up a few knocks. We had ideas, as I said, for two months what was going to do, but suddenly they've dramatically changed their system over the last couple of games. So we've had to have a real good rethink since uh, Saturday night. What are the positive aspects you take that you can work on for Formula 3 into this game, and what do you think are the negatives that they've worked on? Um, it'll be a different game. The ball won't be going so long, so it's a different game. Um, from both sides, it wasn't just Lith Lithuania, we joined in as well. Um, so it'll be a different game. A uh, few good performances, obviously. Their attitude, first class again, to go a goal down and come back. When the body blew the goal in Malta, dealt with that. So we've got that in Malacca, that we can deal with that. We'd like to produce the crosses, shots and chances we had in the second half, away from home. That would be good. So we we'll, we we'll, we'll try every time 
to win the game. There's absolutely no doubt about that. It's very rarely you see us going out and try to no win a game of football or go for a draw. We've got to go, and go, for, a, go for a win. And uh, the players know that. That's the first thing you go for. If it's a draw, it's a draw. And we deal with that. I couldn't tell you. Um, I could, you'd need to, I suppose, camps, see how they're feeling that. I don't know. As I said to you, we, we're, we're going in mindset that anything can happen tomorrow. The game is no really, doesn't really plan out the way you wanted to plan it sometimes, and you have to deal with it. You know, the scenarios of the other night there, as you're planning on Friday night, you can't see that scenario where you you try to get an equaliser in the last couple of minutes. Then you're going for the win in the last couple of minutes. It's cleared off the line. So you never know how it's got to go. That's the beauty of football. Would you expect Graham Gordon to perhaps push a lot more than normal, given that they've not got a point on the board yet? Again, uh, I couldn't tell you. Uh, the, 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 um, the system um, changes a bit. But the, 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 uh, the pace of the game is determined by three or four players, the most important players. So. I don't know if that's going to change any, Ronnie. Darren was saying earlier, wasn't he quite sure if he'd hoped that England would romp away with it and he'd have to fight for a second? What's your thoughts two games in? Well, I think if we... Uh, out on set, there you think, that I don't know how many qualifiers England have played with, you know, with very little defeats, if any. So I think most of us expect, and I think, you know, the, the football and world that England would win it. Uh, as I said, but it's a crazy... It's a crazy gang here in this, uh, the group that we've got. So you never know. Second, yes, we will, we will definitely go and try and get second, at least. And if you end up going first, then great. But second's our target as we, as we sit here. I don't think it's changed in the last two games. I think if you say to us realistically, then second is a target for us.